Are you someone that has adopted a low carb paleo type diet because you are experiencing food reactions or because you suffer from some inflammatory issue such as autoimmunity? Over time, as you've implemented the diet, did it follow a pattern like this? At first, you felt great. Your inflammation decreased, your symptoms decreased, and you were really happy. But as you followed the diet further, you noticed that over time, you haven't felt as good and you've actually developed more reactions to certain foods? If so, I have a mechanism that may be behind your suffering today and maybe we can figure it out together. I'm Dr. John Bartimus, DC, and I'm putting the pieces together to help you live a life at Optimal. So what could the key be to why your low carb paleo type diet first was great for you, but now has resulted in you losing more foods or you reacted to more foods so your diet's now more restricted? The key may be a lack of short chain fatty acids. Huh? What are short chain fatty acids? Short chain fatty acids are metabolites that the commensal bacteria in your gut make when they digest carbohydrates. So they are necessary nutrients to help nourish the colon and have many beneficial effects that we're going to cover today. But the reason you may be insufficient or deficient in these is because of the low carbohydrate lifestyle or the low carb diet you've been implementing. Initially that helped you decrease inflammation, but following the low carb long term led to decreased short chain fatty acids and a lack of the benefits that we're going to cover and therefore more symptoms. Well, how do we do this? You said I need to eat low carb so I can avoid the inflammatory symptoms I was having, but if I need carbs to feed the bacteria, boom, right? Well, people who typically go from a western type diet and then implement a low carb paleo type diet or ancestral diet we could say, generally do a good job of cutting out the carbs that we know is bad like your grains and your legumes and all of that but they also do a poor job of maintaining or eating good dietary fiber and previous to their dietary change they probably weren't eating enough dietary fiber either so if you're removing the carbohydrates you were eating and you're eating poor amounts of dietary fiber now there's no carbohydrates for your bacteria to digest and metabolize into short chain fatty acids for you. So that's the problem. So the key for you may be eating more fiber, which will then be digested by the bacteria to provide short chain fatty acids, which are going to provide you many benefits for your intestines. What are those benefits? Let's dig in. First, as we said, we want to eat fiber. By eating more fiber, that feeds your bacteria or probiotics or commensal bacteria in your gut and they make more short chain fatty acids for you. That's number one. Now, what do the short chain fatty acids do? Well, first, the short chain fatty acids are going to increase mucus production. Increase mucus is what lines the layers of your intestines. So you swallow food, it travels down the GI tract into the small intestine, and there in the lumen of the intestine, in, in the hole or the tube of your intestine, there is mucus, thin mucus and thick mucus. What's the purpose of that? That mucus is trapping things like bacteria that you don't want inside your body. So if you get certain bacteria like Klebsiella or Citrobacter or pathogenic type bacteria that you don't want inside, to get inside they have to dig through the thin mucus and the thick mucus and make their way across your epithelium. Well the, the healthy mucus levels that are a result of short chain fatty acid production by your bacteria trap those bacteria and then they're dealt with by your immune system, specifically secretory IgA. So Another benefit of the short chain fatty acids is it increases 
secretory IgA production by your plasma cells of your immune system. And so when the bacteria are stuck in the mucus, also in the mucus is secretory IgA, which are antibodies that go over and bind those bacteria and target them for destruction or carry them out in your feces. So that's very beneficial and a great mechanism to prevent dysbiosis or pathogenic microbes entering your system. The next benefit of short chain fatty acids is they improve tissue repair and wound healing of the GI tract. So if you have intestinal permeability or leaky gut or you have some sort of lesion to your GI tract, short chain fatty acids help repair those wounds to your GI tract, help improve permeability or decrease the leaky gut aspect. So wound healing is key in the epithelium and in the GI tract because a wound pot raises potential for permeability and those bad bugs and other proteins and food fragments getting across the border, triggering the immune system, driving gut inflammation, et cetera, et cetera. The next step or next benefit that we want to cover is that short chain fatty acids promote T regulatory cell differentiation. Well, what the heck does that mean? T regulatory cells are cells in the immune system that are like the chaperones at the dance. They're overseeing the whole thing and they're maintaining order. So if one area of the immune system gets too activated or too rowdy, they're going to walk over and say, hey, you need to calm down. If another area is not pulling its weight and doing what it needs to do, it's going to go over there and say, hey, you need to work harder. T regulatory cells promote what's called oral tolerance. So oral tolerance is the ability of the immune system to know the difference between friend and foe and recognize food as food, not as foe, right? So if you lose oral tolerance, you develop increased sensitivities and or allergies to foods. So short chain fatty acids promoting increased Treg production promotes potential for improved oral tolerance, less food reactions, etc. The next, um, the next benefit of the short chain fatty acids is improved epithelial inputs. So you're improving epithelial, I'm sorry, not inputs, but an epithelial integrity. And this goes along integrity. The improved epithelial integrity kind of piggybacks on the wound repair. The epithelium is the single line of cells that separates the lumen or the outside world from the inside of your body. So those cells have to have solid integrity. They can't be permeable or leaky gut because if they are, that's going to lead to a whole bunch of health issues that I've covered in many videos and many other people have. So short chain fatty acids are going to promote epithelial integrity and do better in helping you keep the outside from the inside and better determine what's allowed in and what isn't. And then lastly, number seven we can squeeze in here is that short chain fatty acids are anti-inflammatory. And that's huge as we all know because inflammation is the fundamental building block for any disease. And if your gut is inflamed because up to 80% of your immune system is in your gut, Activating that immune system can quickly lead to systemic inflammation and then neuroinflammation, which can result in anxiety, depression, OCD, all kinds of stuff neurologically, and systemic inflammation can result in anything systemically, right? So we want to have proper fiber levels, so we have proper bacterial production of short-chain fatty acids, so we have proper anti-inflammatory capacity so that we're not on fire all the time. So I hope you can see here that short chain fatty acid levels are key to have an optimal GI physiology and therefore optimal body wide health. And maybe this answers the question for you of how come since, how come when I implemented the ancestral type diet, I did great for a period, but the longer I've been on it, I've actually been doing worse. It may be tied to the fact that the ancestral type diets are lower carb 
and typical Americans who go lower carb aren't consuming enough um, fibers in their diet, which the bacteria still need to eat to make the short chain fatty acids. So maybe you've done a good job with the low carb part, but not as great a job eating as many vegetables and fibers as you need to do to feed your bugs. So increase your fiber intake and potentially you need to also supplement with short chain fatty acids like butyrate in order to promote a healthier gut environment and get you back to the improvements you're experiencing early on in the diet.